so there seems to be some confusion um, about the video I put out yesterday as to what is the next step for uh, HR 4521 um, and some of that's because look at that that's hot and, and some of that is because um, we don't really have a very good understanding of the legislative process of the country we live in which is unfortunate we should all know exactly how all that works but uh, we don't and uh, you know I'm guilty of that too so I wanted to bring up uh, a couple things and show you what's actually happening with the bill because I touched on yesterday a little bit in that video about uh, Senate Bill 1260 that passed back in uh, June of 2021 and a lot of people were kinda asking me like what's what's the relevance of that and what exactly does that mean so um, and I went over to US Arc's uh, Facebook page and US Arc doesn't seem to know about Senate Bill uh, 1260 so that's a little bit of uh, where some of the confusion is coming from but uh, here we'll take a look at uh, what this actually means um, and what's how the two bills essentially are going to move forward this is the actual Senate Bill 1260 and I said in the video yesterday I don't know what is all in the amendments of this bill I don't know if the uh, Lacey Act amendment was also added in this bill there's a good chance it's not which is which is positive for us but there's for a bill to become law it has to pass through both the Senate and the House and one of the ways to get things rolling a little quicker is to propose similar or identical legislation in both the House and the Senate so it can move very quickly and if it's identical once it passes through both then it, either copy can immediately go to the the White House to the president to be signed into law now this passed back in June of 2021 so it has 616 amendments and um, I like I said in yesterday's video I didn't get a chance to go through them all so I don't know if the Lacey Act is in there you might want to talk to US Arc since that's what you pay them to do um, but unfortunately they don't seem to really know about this bill so this was the companion bill that has already passed the Senate so what that means is since S1260 and HR 4521 are essentially the same piece of legislation what happens now is it has to those two bills have to be merged into one bill with identical uh, wording they have to be identical bills so the good news about that is uh, HR 4521 is so ridiculous and has so much uh, so many amendments added to it there's that it there's a good chance that it won't be able to pass at least the Senate because I believe we have well not me I'm not a technically a Republican I do lean a little more right these days than I did 20 years ago because there seems to be more freedom <laughs> on the right than on the left most of the uh, censorship these days seems to be coming from the from the left so I definitely lean more right these days so I always lean towards whichever direction freedom is and personal choice and you know the First Amendment that's kinda kinda where I go but there's so much stuff in in HR 451 that um, it since the Senate I do believe has a slight majority of Republicans that it might not make it very far unless it's significantly amended to take out a lot of the stuff so as it stands right now if s1260 doesn't have the amendment dealing with the Lacey Act it could possibly get left out of the final copy when they merge these two bills together which it would be great news for us but overall if this was to pass it's still bad news for the country because the bill's a piece of shit what happens now is since there's two uh, bills passed but they're not identical they have to go to a conference committee and I will show that I have it somewhere and I, I, I have to show all this because a certain pretend YouTube veterinarian likes to tell everybody I'm um, making stuff up and everything I say is conspiracy theories and since what I'm telling you now is something drastically different than what US Arc is telling you I, I have to show my evidence so I don't get accused of you know trying to destroy US Arc for pointing out what's happening here in the real world 
where most of us live and uh, and exist. Here is, if you want to go to this website, you can read it. It's AIP.org and then all this crap. But you can just go there and type in uh, uh, American Competes Act, and you can find this article. But uh, to give you an idea of what needs to happen here, we will just read a little piece from it. It says, the nearly 3,000-page legislation package in the House's response to the U.S. Innovation and Competition Act, which the Senate passed last year on a bipartisan vote of 68 to 32. Lawmakers will soon form a conference committee to negotiate a compromise bill that can garner enough support to pass both chambers. So that's actually where we're at now. Now, USARC uh, on their Facebook page was saying something a little different. USARC is saying here, if it passes the House, there will be opposition in the Senate to utilize. But stopping it in the House is the best case scenario. Well, that didn't happen. Okay. But this, this bill technically isn't going to the House because it already passed the House. So they said something similar in another one of these, and i got to find it. Okay, here it says something, and, and they, you know, Sark is saying something else. The American Competes Act passed out of the Rules Committee, and this was on uh, the 2nd. As expected, our goal is, is, is not to stop the bill, but to get the Lacey Act amended, amendments removed before it goes to the Senate during today's hearing. So it, it's, this is, this is, I put this in the video yesterday, it was on that video. But so that didn't happen. They weren't able to do that, and, and that's not a criticism, of USARC. They they moved so quickly on this bill. This bill, I believe, was proposed the 25th of January, uh, hit the floor the 28th, hit the rules committee the second, and then uh, was passed because of the Democratic majority on uh, uh, yesterday. So I mean, this thing is flying through. If this bill passes in the House and will go to the Senate, we will adjust our alerts to contact senators at the appropriate time. And in here, you know, nothing in this um, is is mentioning S one two six zero, which is super important because this bill technically has already passed the House. They just have to reword it so both the House or not has passed the Senate, and they just now they just have to reword it so both the Senate and House are the same exact version. Uh, and have the same exact wording, everything. And I, I think it's unfortunate that people are getting a, some misinformation right now from U.S. ARC thinking that this bill is going over to the Senate and everybody's ramping up to call their senators and send letters to their senators to tell them not to vote no on H.R. 4521. And, and what you need to understand is you need to not do that. I don't care if if uh, the YouTube veterinarian tells you to do it, I don't care if USR tells you to do it. You don't need to do that because that's not how this process works. Those two bills are going to a conference committee first and then getting rewritten, uh, amended, and then sent back to both the House and the Senate. So as of right now, there's not really anything any of us can do. Um, one thing that maybe we could do is we could find out who's all in the uh, conference committee, if there's anybody that would be partial to, to our issues with it, and could push within that committee to drop the Lacey Act amendments. That would be really beneficial. Um, that would probably be the best uh, method to go at this point. But until that committee's uh, formed and set up, there's really nothing we can do. So please don't make the reptile industry look like complete idiots by bombarding the Senate with vote no on H.R. 4521 because they're not going to be voting on this bill. So, uh, but yeah, so that's that's kind of where we're at right now. You know, it says right, you know, U.S. ARC, it's like this bill passed in the House and will go to the Senate. It, no, it that's not what's going to happen. You, I showed you what's going to happen. So um, I, I, they, they really, USARC needs to get on this. If you're a USARC member, please inform them about S1260, the conference committee that's currently being set up, and uh, go from there. So 
the U.S. ARC again, get prepared to stop it in the Senate. This isn't going to answer, I think, what a lot of people's questions are right now is, well, what's going to happen next? And what is going to happen next is, is right here. Lawmakers will soon form a conference committee to negotiate a compromise bill that can garner enough support to pass both chambers. So when I'm saying that like when I'm so when I'm saying that our best opportunity is to find out who's in this conference committee to see if anybody is willing to get rid of some of these amendments for the Lacey Act, preferably all of them, that is our best option. So when the finish bill gets reintroduced back to the House and the Senate to be voted on, we don't have to worry about Lacey Act amendments in it. So that would probably be the best course of action, is to sit tight and um, uh, go from there. So uh, I hope this uh, clears some things up. I, a lot of people are asking me questions about this, and, and I kind of see why, because you know, as I look at US ARC's page, um, you know they're 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 putting out actual misinformation as of right now. I don't think it was intentional, and I'm not making any speculations or uh, conspiracy theories as to why they did that. Uh, this was a very easy bill to miss. This S one two six zero. I didn't know about it till yesterday, and I I was just watching news reports on the Competes Act, and uh, I caught wind of. Uh, of a, a bill from last year and that's when I started researching and looking into it and saw that well the, the Senate version has already passed so and then that's when I was like all right well what's what's happening now I, I think US ARC members really should talk to US ARC about this and get a game plan and see what they can do to get involved and get in contact with the conference committee that will be drafting a final bill to be voted on by the House and Senate. So I think that would be the easiest, quickest, cheapest solution to this issue, uh, if possible, to do so. Um, but that's that's all I got for you today. So.